Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Catherine Guillader, and it is my privilege and absolute pleasure today to show you around the Genoa Yacht 60. We introduced the boat at the Annapolis Boat Show 2021, and it's been amazing to watch how well it's been received. We've delivered just under 30 boats in about two years worldwide. And uh, in North America, we've delivered a lot of boats in, in different places. I am here with Paul Fenn, the one and only. And, and Paul, man, you're, you're hard to pin down. Where have you been? You know, uh, I have been on the move, Catherine. Uh, you know, my mission these days is when I'm invited to go sailing places, if I can say yes, I say yes. And uh, thankfully, uh, since the introduction of the 60, I've had the opportunity to sail on it in a lot of different areas. I've been uh, down the coast around Cape Hatteras. I've been in California. I've been up north, down south, and uh, I've really gotten to know the boat and not just sailing it, but you know, I've lived aboard it, I've cooked aboard it, slept aboard it. So I know a lot about it now and uh, be happy to share my, uh, my experiences as we get to know this boat. All right, that's, that's awesome. That makes me jealous. And, and that's what today is really about. Now that we have experience with the boat and on the boat, we want to share with you uh, some of the features we love the most. So shall we step aboard? Yeah, let's go. All right, welcome aboard the Genie Art 60. We are aboard Wing It. She just finished commissioning in Annapolis at Bird Jebens. Uh, she will be heading up the coast in just a few days. And uh, it's an interesting story because we know these owners well. Uh, they had a 50DS before, then they moved up to the General Yacht 54. And uh, finally, we, uh, I guess we gave them enough reasons to move up to the 60. They couldn't say no. Exactly. So yeah. who is this boat designed for? Well, you know, that's a great question, Catherine. And, uh, you know, we like to say that our boats are really engineered for choice. And what that means is that we have lots of different configurations available to our clients. And some are looking for uh, uh, big cabins, you know, but not a lot of them. Other people are looking for uh, several cabins because they want to bring lots of family members. So we have lots of different options. But at the end of the day, I would say that our clients are looking for more comfort aboard. They're looking for more livability. So we have, uh, you know, full refrigeration systems now, of course, generators, lots of power, you know, this sort of thing. The idea of camping aboard the boat you will not find any more aboard the Genoa 60. This is a real home away from home. Right, and, and we have different types of, of people. Some are live aboard, some are retiring and going around the world. We also have families. Uh, so it's been nice to see like the different variety of people uh, buying this boat. And we should mention that once again, we partnered up with Andrew Winch and Philippe Briand, and, and they have decades of experience and they've been working with us uh, for decades building Genou yachts and they know our clients and they know where what they're looking for. They know where we come from and where we're going. So it's, it's been a great partner, partnership. It, it has and it all began with the Genou 64 and this this 60 is a real evolution of that that first big yacht which was insanely successful. But enough about the other boats, let's talk about the 60. All right, so since we're sitting in the cockpit, shall we start there? You know, we say it all the time and it's, it's, it's almost cliche, it's so true, uh, but we spend a ton of time in the cockpit. And so it's a tall order for our architects and our design department. We always ask, ask them a lot. We say, you know, it, it's your outdoor living room, it's your outdoor galley, it's where you entertain, it's where you take a nap, it's where you look at the stars. We ask of them to uh, deliver on all of that and more, and I think they did a, a fantastic job on the, on the cockpit of the 60. Yeah, well, what's really awesome about uh, the cockpit on the 60, and we find it on other yachts as well, is that, you know, it's really broken up into two zones. And so we have the area that we're sitting in here now. You'll see that we have absolutely no uh, sailing gear here, there's no winches, there's no lines, we don't even have a cleat up here. All the sailing end of the boat, the business part of the boat, is in the in aft part of the boat. So this is a great area when the sailing is done and you want to just relax, you come up here, we have these split dining tables, they are retractable so they can go up and down and make uh, a lounge area, but otherwise they can be up and it's a great place to dine, as you said, to relax and really just enjoy your time on the water. And the cockpit aboard the Genoa 60 is really second to none. I would agree with that for sure. I mean, we had dinner the other day here. We had 10 people around the tables and they didn't feel crowded at all. Um, and there's been a lot of thoughts given to the canvas as well. Uh, in this configuration, we have uh, a nice uh, dodger up forward uh, with Lexan uh, glass. It's high, high quality. Uh, you also have the arch and the hot tub bimini. 
with a Bimini that retracts, uh, uh, you know, electrically. And, and that setup is fantastic because if you do want to take a little bit more sun, you can. If you want to look at the stars at night, you open it up and, and, and look straight up. And it's a, it's a great setup. And this particular owner, they even have a full enclosure. So that's really your living room up on deck. Uh, if you're in bad weather or if it's a little chilly, you just close it up and, and here you go. Yeah, and, and, and you know, to your point, one of the nice things is that the, the whole living space has been uh, now uh, built around not just the space, but notice that the cockpit cushions are all designed to fit here. So you would not order this boat without the cockpit cushions to go with it. Uh, the Dodger is specifically designed for this boat. So it would make sense just to order everything from the factory. It's also nice that you have uh, the ability to have a hard top Dodger, which we have on this boat with a retractable sunroof, or you can have a soft top Dodger. So again, it's really engineered for choice depending on what you're looking for. But uh, this has become so much more than just a cockpit. And as you said, it is a true living space on deck. Absolutely. For extra lounging, because you know, who, uh, who doesn't want to lounge all day long everywhere on the boat? We have lounging uh, sun mattress uh, up forward. We also have a bench aft of the helms. And this bench is a great space because it also doubles up as an optional outdoor galley. Uh, so you have a, a fridge, you have a plancha grill, you have a sink there. So, you know, uh, you've been uh, fishing uh, uh, offshore, I hear. <laughs> oh, I, you know, I, uh, my adventures, have, I have now grilled in Catalina Island. I have fished uh, offshore, uh, catching wahoo. Um, I have done a wide variety of things uh, because I've sailed it a lot. Again, I've been on the boat in California. I sail down the coast of Florida. Uh, I'm on this boat here in Annapolis, so sailing on the Chesapeake Bay the other day, soon taking it to New England. So yeah, it's, it's, it's wonderful. Uh, there's so many nice features aboard the boat. And then of course, we should mention that the, the boat is outfitted to have a dinghy garage. So you can put your inflatable, including an engine that folds down. So everything just comes right into the dinghy garage. It's great storage. You have your terrace to the sea that you like to refer to it in, in, in France, uh, a drop down swim platform, easy place to launch the dinghy off the back. And uh, when you're at, at anchor and coming up with groceries, getting aboard the boat, getting off the boat. Yeah, it's really fantastic. Absolutely. And last not, but not least, we don't only entertain and, and dine and lounge. We also do a fair amount of sailing. Our general owners, you know, they're sailors first and foremost. And, uh, and this boat does not disappoint. The helms are aft. Everything is at your fingertip. Um, you have your electronic control on starboard with your bow thruster and stern thruster. I mean, it makes you look like a rock star at the dock. You have your 12 inch screen on each side. You even have the control of your winches at the helm, the control of your electric furler. Everything that you need is aft. As you said, you don't bother your guests, you know, forward ever. And uh, of course, what did we bring to the Jeune Yacht 60 that is now on almost, except for the 34, on all of our boats? The walk around deck. We couldn't uh, build a boat today without the walk around deck. And it, you know, it serves a lot of great purposes. Obviously, it's super easy to, to maneuver and get around on the deck. It's such a joy to sail because you can step out on the side, you can see your sails, you can see where you're going, you can sail high side, you can sail low side. There is no downside whatsoever to the walk around deck. So since we're talking about sailing, uh, we have different rig configurations, different sail setups. Uh, this particular boat is equipped with a, a main forestay, electrical uh, forestay, where you have your overlapping Genoa. It also has an inner forestay for your self tacker and it also has a code zero. Uh, it has an in-mast furling main, which is standard. You can have a classic rig, you can have a performance rig. I mean, you can have it all. And these, uh, these particular owners are, are set up for every wind condition here. Yeah, and, and you know, and, and again, we also should point out that the standard rig configuration, it works ideally. We had that on the first boat that came into the country, had the uh, furling main, had a simple self-tacking uh, jib on electric furler. So it was super, super easy to sail. You know, everything kind of self-tacked. So, and it performed. Uh, you might think that not having uh, a big Genoa out there might hamper you, but the reality is that uh, the boat performed superbly with just that simple rig configuration. If I was to order a boat myself, I would probably go with the standard rig with a Code Zero as an option. All right. But that's me. Speaking from experience. I like it simple. <laughs>
Yeah. And it's funny because we had the question earlier as we were setting up, like someone was walking up the dock and, and admiring the boat and complimenting us on the boat and said, like, how many crew members do you need on this thing? And really, you don't need a lot of crew members. You can single hand, you can double hand, because once again, everything is led aft. You have the walk around that makes it very safe and easy to walk around the boat. And you have all your controls at the helm and your bow thruster and your stern thruster and all of that makes it for safe and easy sailing. All right, so I think that about sums it up for the cockpit and the sailing part of the Genoa Yacht 60. There's also an interior, of course, so should we go check it out? There's a beautiful interior to see. Let's go. All right, so we step down below. We are here in the saloon of the Genoa Yacht 60. Welcome home. I mean, it truly feels like, like at home. Oh yeah, when uh, you get aboard this boat, you know, it's got a 17 foot beam. And so we have a lot of space to work with. And uh, as we said up on deck, that the idea is to take all the idea of camping out of being aboard a boat. So this is truly a home away from home. And when you're not on deck enjoying everything we just talked about, you're down below in this space and uh, it's super, super comfortable. Right. The, the, we said it before, Andrew Winch is the interior designer. And it, not only is he a renowned uh, designer, he's also a sailor. And I think it truly shows, you know, the attention to detail and the, the attention given to the distribution of space and how we're using the full lens, the whole, it's a true 60 footer. So we're using the whole 60 feet of the boat, the 17 feet beam. And, uh, and being a sailor, he understands what you need. And, and it's really a no compromise boat. That's what I, I really like about, about this boat. So there's a lot of attention given to the choice of material, uh, the, the light, uh, indirect and direct, and even a, a little bit more um, here with these electric shades. It's my little trick of the day. Uh, you know, that's a lot of people when they come down at the boat show, they're like, wow, it's, it's bright. It's airy, there's a lot of natural ventilation, a lot of natural light coming in uh, throughout the boat. I, I love that we're sitting right here and we can look at the water and that's everywhere on this boat. Yeah, and you know, we started taking the cabinetry off the sides of the boat a while back. So you don't see any cabinetry up top. You know, a lot of boats feel all closed in and that was a big complaint. You didn't get enough light. But as you said, on this boat, we don't have that problem. You have this beautiful window uh, throughout the boat and you can look right out at the sea and uh, whether you're sailing or sitting at anchor or at the dock like we are. So we're sitting down here on port side of the boat. That's the only part of the boat that doesn't change from one boat to the other. But however, it's very versatile. In the up position, you have your dining table right here. In the down position, it becomes this massive lounge for like movie night. And then we have uh, right across, you know, speaking of movie night, we have a retractable TV on starboard. Goes up and down. So when it's up, you get to watch uh, your, your favorite shows on a uh, big screen. And then when uh, you're ready to go sailing or the next morning, you simply retract it and it disappears. Uh, you can have a chart table like we have here on starboard. But some owners have also decided to not have anything on starboard, no sofa, no chart table, so that they could bring in their own chairs. And we have some pictures of that. And it's really a, a cozy feel and, and it feels like a den almost. Yeah, well, that, that that's the wonderful thing about being able to do a walkthrough once you've had a few boats actually to walk through and look at. So, you know, we have five or six boats now in the country and uh, everything is sort of the same, but also a little different. So as you said, you know, we have one boat, we have no settee on the starboard side at all. We have those beautiful chairs they brought from home. Totally different idea. I might not do it on my boat, but on that boat, it, you know, for that particular owner, it works perfectly well and how he's using the boat. So, you know, that's the other thing is people use the boat in different ways and depending on how they're gonna use it and what their tastes are, they can usually find something in the choices that have been pre-designed, pre-engineered and work so well on this boat because we have so much space to work with. Absolutely. The, the galley is forward. It, I love this galley. I, I also call that a no compromise galley. Uh, you can have a, a full size uh, home fridge, refrigeration, freezer, ice maker, wine sailor, dishwasher. You can have all that and plenty of storage and plenty of counter space. I mean, that's hard to beat. It's hard to beat. I was, you know, selling in California. I was. Uh, Someone asked me if I wanted some dessert and I said, you got any ice cream? And they said, yes. And I said, really? And they came, went down below and brought me up a bowl of frozen ice cream. You don't get that every day on a boat. Right. There's even a special spot for an espresso machine. And that was right. at Anchor. 
right. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a, it's a fantastic layout. I also love, again, speaking of attention to detail, I love that your electric panel is right here behind its own door with a whole set of breakers, you know, backup breakers. But when you're not using them, it's out of the way. When you do use them, it's, it's very clean look. It's behind a door. You're not also climbing over the person, you know, working on the laptop at the chart table. It's in this area. Uh, so I, I like, you know, everything has been very well uh, thought out. Um, that's it about for the, the saloon and then of course we have plenty of accommodation choices. On this particular boat we have the master aft, right? Yeah, so this boat has the master aft and pretty much all the boats that have come in to the US market so far have had a big, big master stateroom. So you get a, a lot of space back there, you get a queen size bed, you get a settee, of course you get your own head and shower back there which is enormous and uh, you get a lot of privacy being in the back of the boat and then for your guests we have, as you said, two cabins forward, but actually gets better because it, it's a convertible cabin. We have a removable partition that just completely folds up into the bulkhead that you can uh, bring out if you want privacy. Each cabin has its own head and shower. If you want it to be a big, almost a guest suite and have more room, you just fold the partition out of the way. You have more room than you know what to do with up there. And for those who prefer a master cabin forward, we also have this configuration. It's equally spacious and luxurious. It even has a, a full beam uh, head with a separate shower. And uh, that's actually pretty nice too. Yeah, it's whatever you end up with on this boat, it's gonna be elegant. And, and I love the versatility of it. Like you, you, as you said, if we have guests, you have two cabins and if you don't, you have it as a, as a big suite. It's, right. it's perfect. And again, having spent a lot of time on the boat, uh, since I'm not the owner of the boat, I didn't get to use the big master stateroom back aft. So I use one of the uh, cabins forward and uh, it is just super convenient when you say goodnight to uh, your shipmate and you get up in the morning on your own clock, come on out, make yourself a cup of coffee, go up on deck. I love that, of course, being on a boat. And uh, when the rest of the crew is uh, ready to join, they come out and uh, participate. Right. And that's a good point. What you're bringing up is like when you are brewing your cup of coffee, the owner is way aft. They're not hearing any of what's going on in the no. saloon. Nothing that's going on um, up in the galley. We also have an option for a skipper cabin all the way at the peak of the boat. And and the 60, this 60 footer is the only one in the market actually offering a master aft, uh, which is very special because you have the dinghy garage. And even though the dinghy is going straight in into the garage, we still managed, or our architects are so clever, they still managed to make a big aft cabin that's very spacious. Yeah, fantastic. And, um, you know, the other thing that you'll find down below here, is, you know, we haven't really talked about the systems on the boat, but of course a boat this size, you expect a wide variety of systems. So I mean, uh, a good size generator that's gonna power everything. You're gonna have air conditioning, of course. Uh, you're gonna have uh, lots of water tanks. This particular boat has the optional fuel tank. So you can actually run off two different tanks. So you have lots of lots of fuel for motoring if you get stuck motoring. Sailboats do that from time to time. Right. And I love it because it's all beneath the cabin sole. It's down low where you want all the weight. And all you have to do is open your floorboards and you're gonna find all your pumps, the compressors, your generator, everything I just talked about. It's easy, easy to get to. Right, it's a, it's a lot of amenities, a lot of systems, a lot of capacities. This boat is designed to take you the distance and, and as far as your heart will take you. So it's a, it's a, it's a great uh, boat. And of course, you mentioned the engine. It's not all about sailing. We do have a, a Yanmar 150 under the companionway here with electronic throttle. Uh, it's very accessible from, from the steps, from the sides. Um, and and um, it's a Yanmar. So we also have a, a group warranty of five years and we've been super reliable, very happy with them. All right, so this concludes the tour of the Janu Yacht 60. We've covered some of our favorite features of the boat. There's a lot to talk about, of course. Uh, as you've seen, there's a lot of sail configurations, cabin configurations, and, and loads of options. Right, and at the end of the day, it's, a, it's really a fantastic boat, which really is a testament of our experience building boats of this size. I don't think there's another builder uh, in the world that has uh, produced so many successful models as we have going all the way back to the 54 Dexalon in the early 2000s, the Genoa 64, 
uh, the 60, the 54, the list really goes on and on. And uh, the 60 is a culmination of all our experience and our designers' talents. And uh, it's a very difficult boat to beat. So anyone looking to uh, spend time and are in the market for a boat of this size should really go out of their way to make sure that they uh, they get aboard a Juno 60. And it's very easy to do that. You're very lucky. We have Juno Yacht 60s throughout North America, West Coast, East Coast, North or South. We invite you to contact your local Juno dealer so that you can start building your dream boat. And buy one so I get to go sailing. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys.